morning and welcome to Prakash Vidyalaya where students love to learn. My dear students of class 7, I am Ramanus Bhaira, your history teacher and today we are going to do chapter 6 of history. Towns, traders and craft persons. In this chapter we will study about some major towns and traders and craft persons of medieval age of India. The middle age of or the medieval age of Indian history. Indian history has divided into three parts as you all know the ancient, the medieval and the modern history. In this medieval history we are going to study how several towns which emerged during this period were centers of trade and commerce and activities. Craft production, administrative centers and temples and pilgrimage towns grew up. It was a high time when people developed more commercial links and trade links with other countries. There were some towns and cities which were used to perform number of activities, some important centers of trade and artisanal production in, the, in central and south India were Kabul, Vrindavan, Pushkar, Ajmer, Goa, Mumbai, present Mumbai, Calcutta, Dhaka, Murshidabad, Ahmedabad, Surat, Berar, Bijapur, Golconda, Masali, Patnam, Hampi, Kanchipuram, Madurai, etc, etc, etc. There is more to end the list. Tanjavur was such a great temple town where there was the temple of Raja Rajeshwara built by Rajendra Deva Chola. During the Chola kings, even bronze statues you know, were manufactured and sent to other countries. And these bronze statues were constructed or made during this Chola rules were very important. Others like Somnath, Kanchipuram, Madurai also developed. Temple towns were the center of urbanizations. First, a temple was constructed and gradually a town grew around it which became more and more prominent and important pilgrim center and as it became important pilgrim center more people settled around it selling the things required by the devotees who visit the temple and also for the requirement of the temple and the temple people who were residing in it. Pilgrims their centers developed as townships like Vrindavan, then Thiruvananthamalai, Tirupati, these are all the temple towns which were constructed or gradually grew into temple towns. Small towns emerged from large villages. They had a Manipika or Mandi or the business center. A market street and called Hato. Several kinds of traders and traders were also there during this period. Trade and traders became most prominent. Most of the traders and craftsmen used to make guilds to protect their interests. There were guilds to protect these business class people. Mani Gramam and Nena Desi were two famous guilds of this period. There were many kinds of traders. This included the Banjaras, the Chetiyars, the Marwari, Oswals, the Gujaratis, the Banias, Muslim Bohras, the Arabs, Persians and the Chinese and the Jews who all visited this Indian subcontinent to trade with. Indian spices, cloth, inlay work brought by the European traders to India and Bidar became very famous because of the inlay of silver and filigree work and this work is known as Bidri. Hampi, the capital of Vijayanagara was famous for its architecture. Surat was famous for lace border or Jari saris and this Jari saris had gold and silver lace work or Jari work in the saris which had a great market in Western Asia, Africa and Europe. Surat Hundis were honored by Cairo, Egypt. It was known as the gateway to the West or people, the Muslim devotees who used to visit uh, the holy place of Makkah, Medina, they used to go through these ports. That's why it was also known as gateway to Makkah, Medina or gateway to the West. Mostly, Patnam, an important port in the Andhra Pradesh coast, Kutub Sai rulers prevented European traders and gradually lost its importance because of this regional attack and feelings. Trade was still near areas of Red Sea, Persian Gulf, East Africa, Southeast Asia, etc. And more and more trade was done with the East Asian countries. Due to the importance of Indian textile, most people and Gulf engaged themselves in the weaving, spinning, dyeing of clothes which was very famous and had high demand in western countries. But the craft persons were no more independent, now they worked on the systems of advanced and under the patronage of the rulers. So, 
we are here with this chapter of town traders and craft persons and that rose many powerful uh, kings who gave more importance to this art and architecture and helped the craft persons i hope you all understood thank you very much